Uh, I want to play something Elizabeth Warren said yesterday in a speech in Baltimore. Take a listen. America elected Donald Trump. And yeah, the Russians helped. And yeah, the FBI director helped. And yeah, he lost the popular vote by three million votes. But we cannot let ourselves off the hook so easily. Not as progressives, not as Democrats. The excuses end now. How do you respond to her? Because you were just making a case that that the Obama administration and the Democrats were in, were in charge were being responsive. Elizabeth Warren is saying, no, the Democrats weren't. What well, do you I say to her? I think she went further to say that it wasn't about what we have done, it's how we did not message it. And that is No, something. but she said no. She actually said the opposite. It's not about a new set of talking points. No, no, it's no. actually about policies that aren't working for those folks. In well, the they, it, we, but they have. What, let's see the record. The record is that what did we do? We bailed out the auto industry, saving so many jobs, millions, when you take the indirect increase in jobs in that area. The Republicans at the time said this would be interfering with the free market system if we bailed out the auto industry. They were on their heels. They're now on top of the world. But let me just go back to the first part of uh, uh, the senator's statement. I want to know what the Russians have on Donald Trump. I think we have to have that investigation by the FBI into his financial personal and political connections to Russia, okay. and we want to see his tax returns so we can have truce right. in the relationship between Putin, whom he admires. Uh, uh, but and I want Donald to go back Trump. to the issue of Democrats having lost touch with uh, the Rust Belt, with a lot of voters in there that used to be. And I want to, I guess I want to ask it this way, which is, um, uh, the Democratic Party need new leaders um, to, to touch base on this stuff. Is it, is, is, or, you know, whether it's Hillary Clinton, uh, yourself, Chuck Schumer, you've all been in power a long time, and there was a rejection of that in the 2016 election. Do you accept that? Well, we have plenty of room for all kinds of leadership at every level. Right now, we need experience as well uh, as new leadership. But I'm a, I, I was a new leader when I emerged mm -hmm. myself, so I'm all, I'm all for that. But that's not the point. The point is, who has the leverage? The American people had the impression, some, that Donald Trump was going to give them the leverage when he became president. And what did he do right from the start is go right to his friends in Wall Street. And this is Super Bowl Sunday, so let's give a scorecard. Right away, he said, his people said they were going to overturn Dodd-Frank, that they were going to do away with the uh, Consumer Financial uh, Protection Bureau, that they were going to do away with the fiduciary rule. All of the things that protect consumers, retail investors, taxpayers. They, they, they showed whose side that they were on. So they're about trickle-down economics. We're about trickle-up. We hope that all of us will be talking about a higher minimum wage. And that's right. the message we have to get across. Is the Democratic Party strategy mm -hmm. just obstruct the whole time? Is it to basically yeah. take that playbook that the Republicans used that politically you could argue was very successful? Well, I think that if, they, if we can talk about job creation and infrastructure legislation, that's a real infrastructure bill, and not a tax break for his rich friends, then there's something we can talk about. If we can talk about uh, work and family balance, about uh, uh, child care and uh, early childhood education, paid sick leave, mm -hmm. let's see where we can find that. But I want to make this point, Chuck, and it's very important, because people say to me all the time, when, how what long will it take the Republicans to give up on Trump? Trump's agenda is their agenda. They have voted over 60 times to overturn the Affordable Care Act. They vote almost every week in committee or on the floor uh, in this past right. year to overturn Dodd-Frank and the aspects of it. So they're very much in sync. It's Mitch McConnell and, and Speaker Ryan are very much in sync with the uh, Trump agenda. So it's not a question of them saying, how much longer will they put up with this? And for him to say, a so-called judge, it's one thing to criticize a decision. It's quite another thing to say a so-called judge. I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, the House Democratic Leader. So aren't you leader. happy that the President George Bush <laughs> and Mrs. Bush are going to be the talk? We are, and that's, I think, a lot of people are, are looking, forward, looking forward to that. Thing.